Columbus High in southern Florida. Now, after dozens of encounters with law enforcement and multiple dire warnings okay, to authorities, what he says. many are now asking why <laughs> don't have a steady cam. prevent this lunatic's rampage. Plus, more questions are being raised about the timid response on the day of the shooting from some in the yes. Broward County Sheriff's Department. Okay, uh, At this hour, there are growing calls for the sheriff, Scott Israel, to be suspended. Yeah, he's a diehard liberal. That's tonight. This, uh, I think that this really I smells. The whole thing works. smells. Say Another deep state. Exactly Another deep state. I don't believe it. Douglas shooter, Nicholas Cruz. In fact, I don't believe he did it. Because if you... I One see a lot of videos uh, of the witnesses. They all say that he was not armed uh, when the shooting was going on. The armed person had the mask and also the Kevlar, the bulletproof. Law enforcement visited the home of Nicholas Cruz 39 times over a seven-year period. And we also know that while enrolled at... So Marjorie he's a perfect patsy. High, Cruz was not allowed to wear a backpack out of security concerns and was ultimately expelled because of his violent behavior. Despite all of these warnings, <sighs> Cruz was not in jail or in a mental health facility or even being observed by law enforcement. Instead, Cruz was easily well, able to they're enter busy, the school busy, busy doing the Russian dossier dance. Now, school resource officer... Scott okay, the direction. Armed with a gun and a bulletproof vest, he took uh. a position behind a concrete column outside the building when the rampage was taking place. As one witness observed, Peter. Wait, right, so you're gonna rely on these people uh, when shot. your life depend on Scott it, and those Peterson people are there. The Remember the PDs, the LAPDs. Uh, when I called them, case. it took more than five hours. Oh, five five hours. Just for uh, I mean, reluctantly came out, and they were mad at me more. And. Just he useless. Shot going He'd be so inside. dead. You could hear them it's playing so off over and over again. He's the only one. Did on the nothing. Gun. He's wearing a bulletproof vest, and all you know, he has all that while school security guards, you know, coaches, pretty much, were running in, shielding kids. Coach Vice uh, Hickson were running in, shielding kids from bullets and losing their lives while he did nothing. That's the opposite. I'm so I, uh, I think the, uh, uh, yes, the derelict the argument, even with, with that David Hogg, supposed to be the superstar for the liberals pushing for gun control, uh, in fact, should scene, do just the opposite. How, how can you rely on these the people when then when they, yeah, they just stand down cowardly? And rushed into the if you don't fight for your life, nobody going to fight for your life. That's the truth. Why didn't your no cops are going to come in three Israel minutes, five minutes. Mine didn't show up CNN. five hours. At and they ridiculed point, me. No oh, where's the, the, the perpetrator? The six foot five, is. 295 pound, as you described. But nobody's Fuckers. entitled to their own set of facts. Coral Springs sources say when Coral Springs police arrived, CNN. there were Broward deputies there in well, addition to Peterson. Well, they went a lot of force seeing during an attack. And I don't dispute that, but that oh, is okay. an active we investigation. Do you think that if the Broward Sheriff's Office had done things differently, this shooting might not have happened? Yeah. Yeah, listen, if ifs and buts were candy And this nuts, is CNN? Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> O.J. Simpson I would can't still believe be in records books. I don't know what that means. There's 17 dead people and there's a, a whole long list of things your department could have done differently. Because of the timid response and the immediate wow. aftermath of the Marjorie Stoneman oh. shooting. Wow, I'm surprised that CNN had a very uh, straight face talk with this dude. Dozens of Florida legislators, they're now calling for Sheriff Scott Israel to be suspended immediately. Unbelievable. In the aftermath, yeah, coward. Some are calling a total He's trying to strip away to law our gun Israel rights, his own our right to defend our issue. lives, our very wow. lives. Could depend Chief, on it. I can only take responsibility for what I knew about. I exercise my, my due diligence. I've given amazing leadership to this agency. Amazing leadership? Uh, I've worked... Yes, Jake, uh, this is, there's, there's a lot of things we've done throughout this. And that's, uh, this that's is, uh, amazing. You, you that's know, CNN. Measure, uh, <laughs> Uh, drilling this dude. I'm surprised by, by he's not fired. Not going in. As you probably deputy. Noticed, the, 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 the deputy standing around outside. Maybe they, we, they, they didn't get him donuts camera, uh, and coffee uh, fast TV enough. Everywhere. I don't know. You've also probably noticed that during his TV appearances, Israel has been quick to blame just about everything for the shooting from the lack of police funding, the NRA. Ah, blame NRA. No, this is when you need the NRA. I can't believe the liberal demonized the NRA. If not for NRA, we would be just like 
uh, back in the uh, old days when Mao invaded all of the villagers, uh, they have to surrender. So that's what you want to do, surrender your lives. Go ahead. I'm not, I'm not going for that stupid lies. You know, what's the point of having an armed guard on campus if he's going to right. stay outside as the shots are going off? Yeah, really. Right, Sean, and, and you said that question. in the singular. Remember, there were three other officers yeah. reportedly now uh -huh. that were outside as well. That's four, when yeah. Coral right, officers, so that's four. something is wrong. Up, and when they went in, they, they were told to stand down at her. that time. And that goes, despite what Sheriff Israel says, that goes to leadership. That goes to the top. And again, I can't Well, if you watch Alex, Cha uh, Alex Jones' their interviews, said, hey, if you did things differently, uh, you or there is a this. tweet, says, they were told to stand down. If it's and butts for candy and nuts, O.J. Simpson would still be in the record books? What is Look, that? I understand that. What is that? It's a, it's a flippant analogy while you're playing CYA on national television. It's not even accurate because O.J. Simpson is, in fact, still in record books. So, look, I hope the next time Israel goes in front of a reporter or a what? host, he yeah. seems to gravitate what? towards yeah. the spotlight, to your point. Not some I hope they ask, candies. Did you know during that CNN town hall yeah. last week that one of your deputies did not go in, that three of your other deputies did not go in? And if so, why well, didn't you sure share that? Sure and I think right. Tapper asked them that, that yesterday, but press him on this. Why did you grandstand during that particular town hall knowing and this. go after Dana Lash, yeah. knowing this uh, and, and making a name for yourself? He seems to be a guy who's seeking higher office at this point, Sean, yeah. uh, but I don't doubt that's going to happen after the, the scrutiny he's been getting lately. <laughs> Look, I'm very oh, no. careful. Right, because we saw uh, him uh, really donate or contribute to the Hillary. Uh, when are there these ways to campaign for Sean. Hillary that and our then county you see that there were two warnings Scott in the FBI, but it never got to the Miami field office where it should have gotten and I'm sure would have been dealt with. It seems at least at mm. the level of being advised oh, you try can't okay. miss these opportunities when people are saying, Look, he says Because they don't be really care. As they, I believe that they actually like it, meaning the people there are the globalists that's driven this uh, Antifa, oh, right. I mean, uh, so-called the uh, so uh, gun control. Strip um, away we of your means to defend your homes, you yourselves, your lives, period. They just don't want you to defend yourself. Uh, uh, it's okay if you kill somebody with a butcher knife, uh, machete, bombs, and fertilizer and shit, and run them over. Because they know it's not possible to ban Camaros, for example. But they're bent on taking away your tools of survival. It, we just want to survive, basically, because you have all these yeah, illegal, I don't know, who are these people on drugs, drug cartels, and they're the as vicious as the terrorists, the, MS-13. The just, I mean, they're just vicious. And I, I live right, right in California, right in the center of this epicenter. And you're telling me, you're telling me that I'm just as bad as those idiots? That we're all bad? Else is are you are you out of your fucking minds? Joke. That's what communism well, do. Effort, Sean, to blame strip the away, the just strip away your ability to protect yourself. No That's what they do. The so, the I'm not buying the in, the uh, anti gun David Hogg and all these uh, Rubio, it, to, to blame Scott them. Israel bullshit. You had Delta, MetLife, Hertz, Avis, all no longer giving NRA, NRA you know, it, it seems to... Seems to Hertz? In that well, fuck but them. The I'm, I'm not America renting from Hertz. Dollars are the worst. Seems to be focusing more on the failures of local law enforcement to not prevent this from happening, and the FBI as well. I a and I think that's well, a I believe they now. play a role in it. There was the drill. This is all phony false flag. Okay, 